the next generation. Oh, I thought we were taking pictures. <laughs> I put on my presidential smile face real quick. I was like, on the way to Aguas Calientes. Yes, we are on the plane. To Mexico. Mexico. We haven't been on a small plane like this in a long time. Yeah, it's really I'm, Like we sitting on the wing. <laughs> 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 we holding up the plane right now. It's gonna be fun. Yes, shout out to my man Rogelio Encala. <laughs> out at Beyond the Groove Studios. They brought us down there for their Welcome home, special house intensive. It was really, really awesome. And also, um, congratulations to both of you. On your wedding. Yes. Y'all are welcome to the dancing couples. Yes. Yes. So, uh, Rogelio actually came here first. A little backstory. And he entered... Uh, I believe it was either in the deep or, yeah, I think it was in the deep he entered. And uh, I actually called him Rogelio, and he won't let me ever live that down. He was like, uh, my name is Rogelio, so I had to make sure I say it right. Um, and so after coming to that event here, he then invited us to his first event, Welcome Home, in Aguas Calientes, Mexico. Now, Mexico was like on the brim of coming up with their own house scene and building their house scene down there. So there's a lot of things going on in Mexico City, in Cancun, Aguas Calientes, of course. And a lot of the small regions as well are doing things. And it just so happens that this one event, Welcome Home, was a culmination of all of that. So everyone came from everywhere within Mexico to this event. It was really, really cool. Uh, I was the only guest from outside of Mexico and then everyone else was from within the Mexico scene. Um, and we basically broke down different aspects of the house culture and as it pertains to Mexico and how uh, things that we within the house culture would like for them to work on in terms of building their own flavor of the things that they see. Um, I think they did a really good job of like honing in on the things in the culture that are important and um, not necessarily shaming other things or anything like that but just recognizing that things are different depending on where you are and what your focus is. So I think they do a really good job of that and uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a really, really lot of fun. Get this score sheet together. As you can see, I'm already starting to sweat it out. Gotta get warmed up for uh, for what's about to happen here. The bottle. There wasn't that many. Yeah, but the level was high. And the, the end, after the bottle, and everybody started dancing together, and they had really good vibes. Yeah, it was really awesome. One thing about me and judging specifically is I'm not a Thai person. Like, you know, I'll go down to the nitty gritty and, and figure out who's what. But there are a couple bottles there that I was literally like splitting the ears like I really need to see this again to be able to decide. <laughs> it was weird because like it doesn't even happen that much for me in New York. Like it's, it's it was like yep, 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 yep. And there I was like not so much that the level was like ridiculously high that I couldn't pick. It was just that the people there are all of the same level or of a of a same stance within house. So and it's a good stance where they are. Um, so it was really hard to be like, yeah, this one is better than this one in this particular conversation that they had. So it was, it was a lot of fun. I actually had a good time judging this battle, which is, again, not much that you can say for a judging battle because you're sitting there for a long time watching pe other people dance. But it was a, it was really engaging. Um, they were really having good conversations with each other. With, with each other. Uh, I don't think that there was a time there where I was like, what's going on right now? Which happened to me. <laughs> which happens a lot more than I would like to say, but um, for this one welcome home, good job, Aguas Calientes. You guys really knocked it out the park with this one. And Carla, you can, you can draw. Hey, listen, <laughs> you know, 
we in New York and uh, you know graffiti reigns supreme but when you guys need your lettering done you really need to check my girl Carla because her hands is no joke she gets busy with the, the, with the lettering <laughs> um, on top of that I don't know what the other studios <laughs> in Mexico are like I really don't know so I'm not saying this but if y'all are in Mexico and your stuff is not like beyond the groove you got some serious work to do because that studio is no joke when I tell you beyond the groove is no joke it's no joke you have to check this place out it's <laughs> off the chain it's definitely off the chain again good job <laughs> it's so cool that their his parents uh, helping him all the time with the events and stuff. Uh, it was really nice. I mean, it was it was awesome to just see. Again, you know us. We're all about family stuff and doing things as a family and family first. So it was really good to go somewhere else and see someone else doing the exact same thing. Like like Shinobu just said. You know, his parents' house is directly next to the studio, which is crazy. <laughs> Um, and like his dad was up like making sure people were getting where they needed to get to it was really Really cool yeah. to be there and just like witness all of that. It, it really makes This whole community and this whole scene really feel like a family So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to come out of Aguascalientes in Mexico on a whole Because you know if anything if everywhere else is even as close to what they're doing there They've got some serious stuff that's going to be coming out of Aguas Caliente, so stay tuned for that. We Right in front of our hotel was like one of those uh, Amsterdam signs that says Aguas Calientes on it. So we were going to go there to go take a picture. Out of nowhere, this little Spanish guy's like... <laughs> so we met him yesterday, actually. Today's our second day. <laughs> <laughs> we got peeps everywhere. All right, peace. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Arigato. Sayonara. Sayonara. Right there in the middle of Mexico, this little Spanish dude speaking Japanese. That's what's up, Aguas Calientes. <laughs> I'm down with you for that, that right there. That was so funny. I'm trying to learn how to speak Spanish. It's not, not it's Spanish. not sticking in my head. Since I met her. Oh my god, and I didn't have time, so I just... <laughs> Let's just put it this way, I speak Japanese now, <laughs> she still doesn't speak Spanish. How long did it take? It took longer than... <laughs> it did, it did take longer, yes. you're absolutely right, you're but absolutely right. I'm really trying, I'm not, I mean... So as my daughter would say, que paso? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, our youngest can speak better than yeah, that. Yeah, Mike, Mike is no joke with his Spanish, Mike can come in the house and kill you with it. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo estás, amigo? Um, before we went to Mexico, I was worried, but Aguas Carientes is beautiful city. So, I mean, I told her she'd be alright. You know, she was with El Chocolate, but she, you know, she didn't want to listen. But anyway. <laughs> well, I usually, you know, he's always teaching or judging. So sometimes I go out by myself, and I love to walk around and I wasn't sure if I can walk around by myself. Oh yeah, well that, that's anywhere. <laughs> anywhere I'm worried about that when she's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going off by myself. Yo, this lady straight up abandoned me in Paris and was just out. <laughs> I was like, yo, where's my wife? And she was all the way in like, I don't even know, Timbuktu. Yes. If she would have got robbed, it would have been a problem because I would not have known where she oh, was. Fine. Yeah, she thought she was fine. She was just happy to be your friend. She was not paying attention. Anyway, I was having both. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we got the Aguas Calientes, and uh, it is actually the dead center of Mexico, as we found out when we got there. So, it was so cool. yeah, it, it was actually pretty, pretty awesome. Um, we got to go to the Museum of the Dead there. Okay, America, we ain't necessarily afraid of things. That's not our. That's how we were, because you know we we go out to the night all the time. But check this out right here. They want us to go down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. This is like a theme park. This is like a theme park museum. <laughs> she said this was the Infermato, which is the underworld. So I guess 
guess we are going down into. Okay, this is kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that um? It is a museum of death. Is this real? Like, um, it looks real. It looks very real. Is it nice. is creepy. Look at that one. I can barely see. That's cool. I actually like that. That's kind of cool. Um, and they had uh, this this uh, in interesting exhibition about the printing press that came out of Mexico and specifically Aguas Calientes and I forget what the guy's name is. I forgot to. I'm sure when you look up the, 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 the town, it'll pop up because he's pretty famous. That, that place we went was the different place. It wasn't the um, museum. It was the church. It was a church, yes. It was a right. church. We, I wanted to see this black Jesus. Jesus. And the church was closed. Yeah. So we couldn't go. But next to the church is this printing press museum that we went to. Yeah. And I love to taste the local food. So that, that was one of the things, um, they have a lot of sweet things in Mexico. Um, I guess sugar is probably one of their exports as well as chocolate and corn. Um, so it was like a lot of, lot of like dried sweet things. They gave us actually this really huge basket of like traditional Mexican snacks, um, candied like pineapples and candied oranges and candied all kinds of stuff. Unfortunately, we went there and we only brought carry-on luggage. So there was no way for us to put all of these treats. So we had to actually leave our treat basket. So we were here again. My apologies for that. On top of that, they gave us some Mexican tequila. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't bring it back. It was we crazy. We don't drink much. So. I mean, we, we don't drink much, but I would have loved to bring it back. Yeah, but, no, but we couldn't. We couldn't even bring that back. <laughs> so when you guys come back, Make sure you pop that in your suitcase and hook it up for us. We are here at the real taco joint. <laughs> the real taco joint. So, I don't even know what I'm about to eat right now. As long I just told him it's, it's not pork, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> so, we're about to taste some real, real Mexican food. Pastor Costilla. Real pastor and beef. What was the thing that I ate yesterday? Yesterday you ate un sope. Un sope. Sope. It was good. I'm about to take it in, y'all. I'm about to take one for the team. I'm about to take one for the team. The real deal. The real deal right now. It's gonna be spicy, I'm telling you. It's gonna be spicy. Come on, keep recording, keep recording. Is it spicy? Is that? Not as spicy as yesterday. Okay. Oh, okay. This is like a corn drop. You can get one really, really spicy, oh, and the other one tastes just like, like a grass. <laughs> it's like a corn drop. You wanna play? As they say here in Mexico, which means fat pig. That's what we are right now. We just finished eating. <laughs> eating all this food. I don't know who this little boy is standing here, but he's scaring me. <laughs> uh, we just finished eating all of our food. It was delicious. It was really, really good. So, we found this thread that looks like it's called melon pan in Japan. But it's regular bread here with rompope on top of it. <laughs> yeah, try to figure what that one is. Rompope is eggnog. We should have videotaped us trying to figure out what rompope was. <laughs> Homegirl was going through like all kinds of charades and all sorts of explanations. We finally had to pull out the Google and Google helped us out. So. All right, Dakimasu. Dakimasu. I'm waiting for the eggnog. I don't taste it. <laughs> it's the light. bread is good though. We're not messing around. Bottle water for everything. <laughs> Even when we brush our teeth. Without a doubt. 
I was gonna use tap water to brush my teeth, but he said not to. I did not say not to. I said you could go ahead with that if you want. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> I did not say not to. You can go right ahead. We didn't ask the name of this bread. We asked. Uh, they were talking about this thing on the top, but. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's right around the corner, so we can go back and ask. Hmm. Boys for Mexico. And we got to walk around, which is really dope. That was really, really dope. But we didn't get to see the Black Jesus. Uh, the church don't open until 4 o'clock, and my, my workshop's at five. 5. 5. The church doesn't open until 5? 5. Until five. Um, 5 o'clock. And my workshop's at 5, so. Yeah, Jesus, Black Jesus is trying to have a party. <laughs> black Jesus is like, yeah, I'm already black. I don't need more black people in here. <laughs> okay, party people. We are here with some of the students of Beyond the Groove. Say what's up, say what's up. <laughs> so we're about to get our food cracking right now. We got lots of things going on in the back. We're about to do our thing right now. Everybody's rushing us because the party's starting soon. But we're trying to eat right now, so they're going to have to wait. All right, talk to y'all in a minute. Me. We're about to go in, about to do our thing, we're about to take it down as soon as we get past the security. It's serious. This is back in the day right here. <laughs> We are here in our final day in Mexico, Aguas de Calientes. It was a lot, a lot of fun. As you can see, we are tired. <laughs> we were out until four o'clock in the morning partying. Um, so, it was a lot of fun, guys. Generation. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us. Next Generation family here in Mexico. Uh, what's the next one there? What's our next uh, video? Yeah, next video. Yeah, next video. And for the generations of today, stand Make sure you guys proud, like and subscribe as always. <laughs> you know, we're horrible at this. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta like and subscribe. And what else? Yeah. Music feeling that always. That's me. His name. I need that sensation. Embrace yourself for the sense of the next generation.